My brother had the bluest eyes. Like exotic oceans, subtle emotion, no rage, no rip times, like perfect skies, two windows to a soul full of blues. Benny's eyes were the deepest blue. It's too bad mom despised the view. You see, Benny was the product of her rape, and she made sure he always knew. I was 14 when we shot my first bag of dope, you know, it was then I saw his soul shine through him and those eyes of vibrant hue, beautiful. Then an illness consumed him in stages. We, his kid, labeled him contagious, chased him away, never told him what for, but one day, death chased him back to our door. With a legion of lesions that chose his pleading face to invade, I could see the sickness as soon as I lifted the shade. My brother, no longer able, but I was Cain. Just staring at him as the window came as he tried to turn his fate around a locked door not aids, enshrouding his flesh like an angry mob. He said, you'll try to open the door. He needed new heroin for his veins to wear. Shooting dope was always a family affair. Could have given him clean clothes to shower for his flesh, but we were ignorant of this illness, afraid to enmesh, and we called it the junkie bug back in 84. When I was a 14-year-old junkie standing at the door, staring at the most beautiful blue eyes I had ever seen. And I reluctantly recall the relentless snowfall that painted the shameful scene, the day we treated this human being like less than a human being. John, stop playing, man. Open the door. John, don't open that fucking door. John, please, man. I'm sick. John, don't. He's sick. I wondered if my mother wasn't in prison. Would she have let him in? I knew denying him was the sin. His lips were now the deepest blue. But what the fuck did I know? I was just a junkie, too, and I pulled down the shade allowing two inches of wooden ambivalence to pervade and the banging stopped as soon as I banged more dope and it was amazing how an injection of oblivion made reality sting easier to cope when winter's winds kissed him like he could have and the darkness hugged him like he should have and death accompanied him my kin to an abandoned car in Brooklyn where he froze because his flesh and blood back home had grown so cold. And I wonder what his blue eyes then saw. And I wonder what it was like in hell to fall. He must have shivered for hours all alone. And I tried telling myself maybe it was a better place than home. So winters are hard for me. I don't make snowmen. I have snowball fights. I don't feel the warmth of the fireplaces at Christmas. Footprints in the snow still remind me of a baby family and the wind sings a song of evil because I'm a murderer and I'm sorry man. I'm so so sorry